Hi, y'all. Welcome to the Lucy Y podcast. I've never filmed this in my car. And I don't, if you've been listening for like the last episodes, I usually use like a microphone, which there's a microphone on my camera, but like a separate one. Uh, I'm also driving. So did I always, I've never filled one in my car and I've never done it while driving. I'm trying out, I don't have Wi-Fi right now. And I'm leaving the Abbey of Gethsemane. I don't know if I will post this vlog before or after, but I'll probably, I don't know. I just said I don't know. But I hope you can hear me. I didn't test anything out, but I wanted, usually my solo podcasts are like stream of consciousness, and I think this will be good for my ADHD, whatever you want to call it, to have something to focus and to just like let the stream of consciousness go. Um, that's what in the vlog of, I talk about like when I got here and everything, so. But it's been, this is my first time here, Abbey of Gethsemane in Travis, Kentucky. It's a beautiful drive, it's like an hour or so. That's what, I don't have maps because it's not working right now. But I feel like I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out, just like this podcast. I don't know what I'm talking about what I wanted to talk about anything and I always figures it out it's I'm always figuring and it always works out just talk and be authentic and it'll all work out so I'm kind of hot I don't want to turn the AC like all the way up because first of all that's kind of annoying when it's like so loud <laughs> like in person like not just like on camera like why it's kind of like white noise i love kentucky i don't i know not everyone's from here <laughs> lives here but it's beautiful it really is it's so beautiful i'm so like i'm glad i live here i'm trying to think like i don't know what it would be like if i was raised and grew up somewhere else like i'm sh i feel like everyone like deep down like loves where they were born like you might say you hate it and everything but like at the end of the day like that was home to you like in the physical sense for a long time it's kind of like all you know growing up like i don't know maybe it just gives you a feeling of home you might actually i'm not gonna go back on what i said i feel like deep down like we all love it i don't know is that a hard take hot take or hard um, was that a hard take or a hot take i don't know not up to me oh you guys sneeze <laughs> That was a burp. That was not a sneeze. <laughs> I wonder if it went from my nose like to my mouth. That was funny. Uh, okay. That's what my camera hasn't really like moved too much. That's why I'm doing a little bit of a turn right now. So one one five five. That's a good number. New changes new changes one I feel like that's like new starting something new and then fives changes so when I was there like I I guess because I might not like finish this is where I'll finish this is just this is my leaving the experience because in the vlog I'll probably just talk about like going there again I don't know anything can change but it, um, so I was about to say no one cares, but I'm trying not to be mean to myself or like say stuff like that. 
but we so I got there like I was meaning to go with the Jewish road people it's a father-son duo and I got there late and I didn't really know where the statues were I like went up into the abbey the gift shop was closed when I was leaving it was open and I'm like I don't even feel like going in there in the beginning maybe I would have but so I like went up there I was a little scared to open the church doors like I guess we can all go in there I did end up going in there um, to go to the bathroom and stuff talk to some people okay so now I'm at a stop sign I feel like I came from this way so that's what basically I've been kind of like on my own like I meant to go as a group we could have uh, I could have maybe carpooled with people like I'm assuming it was like that maybe but that's what this has been an experience oh that's so cute it's a little pond with like a little it looks like a wedding well a little swing there sorry it's so hot it, with relationships like one-on-one -on -one with people so I can have like a Neptunian view of it, like have this illusion over the thing. I'm like, oh, I'll go ride with people, like become best friends with these people. And that is not how it really works for me. This time last year, I don't know if I've ever talked about this on camera, but I went to, I feel like maybe I might have, I don't know. I talk a lot sometimes so I'm very quiet actually in person so don't like it depends but like this time last year I was going to Chicago with my art class and um, like I have that Neptunian view of illusionary view like I was gonna have two I did have two um, roommates and I'm like oh we're gonna be come like friends and everything and I think like I noticed that today I'm like when I have that idea like that's not like was I thinking about me because like at least for today I'm like I really wouldn't have liked carpooling like in the, my mind I'm like oh I can see it going so well like I'll like that but I really wouldn't. I really wouldn't. So some Neptunian thing there. That's what the Chicago trip last year ended up not. We did not become like best friends. <laughs> I found that out very quickly. I think I just like. I don't know. I had that idea that I would like share about me and they would want to be best friends or like me or like would just become like a threesome or something of friends and that's not what happened that trip I learned a lot on that trip luckily my brother lives in Chicago so I stayed with him a couple nights so that helped but yeah I really don't know When am I gonna get Wi Fi? But, that's okay, it works now. So, everyone's different in that way. I just noticed that today. Like, today, I think when I'm. Like, I got there late. And then when I got to the statues, like, he was already talking, giving scripture, all that, like, preaching. And I sat down, and then after, like, he was like, I'll give you all 10, 15 minutes to, like, do your own thing, write in the journal, whatever. 
and then they all kind of left. But I was like focused in on what I was doing. I wasn't really ready to leave, so I stayed. And then like I ended up being by myself again. And then I laid in like tans for like a while. But, and then I was leaving. I think they were, I wasn't sure if they had had lunch already because they were supposed to do lunch. And they were going to go out to eat. And then, like, kind of like after I sent the email um, saying I wanted to go, they're like, okay, we have so many people. We'll bring sandwiches, chips, and whatever. And we'll have lunch there, like picnic. And that's why I think they were, like, picnicking when I left. And I'm like, I just. I feel like this is like a solitary trip and I'm fine with that. I like that. That's what it kind of feels like. I mean, being in a, like a monkey place, um, Abbey place, like I think I would rather be by myself and do the silent thing. That's what you're supposed to be like, silent, pretty much. Oh, I saw nuns when I was leaving and they were talking a lot. I think maybe it's more silent like when you get to certain areas because there was like a sign about that but it's like that idea I'm like oh like I'll be like friends with them like that doesn't like I, I'm not thinking about like me like me that's not really how it goes with me or how it works with me like I don't like that I hope y'all can't hear like the darker <laughs> the darker sounds of my car right now like underneath I don't know I got a new battery last week. I haven't done like a stream of consciousness video in like weeks really. My last one was like a get to know me tag, which I've always wanted to do and I figured I'm like why don't I just make this a podcast episode. But like this so I didn't really like talk about like I didn't really talk like this. I like talking like this. If you want to listen to any of my other podcasts, like they're pretty like solo ones, they're all like stream of consciousness like this. Oh, I'm gonna turn soon. Um, yeah, like I, this helps me talk out loud. I'm a mental projector in human design. If anyone knows about that. My head and my Andre are the only ones to find. And so like the bottom half is all like empty, able to receive energy. I don't know too much about it, but what I do know is what I know. I'm a three five. From what I know. I have to like try new things to like learn about it. I like to do that. Yeah. As well, I'm sure you can hear that sound. Baby, baby, baby. Oh. 50 miles straight now. Uh. Yeah, I mean, I love you all. I love doing this podcast. I really do. I mean, like I just said, like, this is my therapy. Like, oh, what I was getting into, like, why talking out loud helps me is because, like, for projectors, like, soundboarding really helps because we don't, like, hear ourselves or see ourselves the way other people do. Um, which I agree with. Or I see truth in. I have very focused energy. <laughs> um, if you believe that. I don't like the sounds my car is making, so I might cut this podcast short and just listen to music. So, I think this has been good, though. I love y'all. I love talking. Let's do this next week. <laughs> I love interviewing people too. 